Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about NAB. It's finally here, uh, super excited. Um, there's already been a couple things announced and I wanna just quickly go into those. Um, some big heavy players in terms of the monitor marketing have made some really, really, really interesting uh, announcements. Uh, before, right before NAB started, and, I'm, and I want to sort of get into them. The first one is sort of small HD. Um, they've now announced that they've got five new uh, monitors in the Focus lineup that they're going to be releasing. Um, all of them have very interesting points. The ladders are actually very, very interesting. The first one is that they're now putting out an SDI version of the uh, original small HD focus so now instead of the HDMI you're gonna get the SDI version which and it's a full SDI I'm super excited about that because uh, cameras like the FS5 the C200 the Evo 1 um, they all can just connect right there so these you know sub $10,000 cameras that sort of rely more on professional BNC connections can now have a more steady reliable connection which is great um, the second one is which is really nice is that they have announced a new OLED 5.5 uh, inch monitor uh, one in HDMI the other one in SDI and those are going to be coming out as well which is uh, really nice but the last two are the to me the most um, exciting ones and that is their their Focus RX and their Focus TX which is basically they are wireless monitors which is super exciting and one of the things I'm really happy about because anybody that knows if you ever f try to fly a camera what if it's a small body camera like the GH5, the A7S, 5D Mark IV um, or larger bodies like Reds and Canon C200, Evo 1s etc etc the pain of trying to figure out where to put your monitor without and connecting it to the camera without sort of uh, disrupting the ebb and flow of the gimbal and the motors as it's trying to balance and when you're either rolling or lifting tilting um, it's a, a bit of a pain it's sort of a struggle at times well now we can just plug in wirelessly and this is great because I can have my DP um, shooting and capturing something while I'm sitting in the back with my client and we're viewing things on the monitor or if my DP is flying it on a gimbal we can now uh, he can now just put it on the like a, a quarter 20 or put it on the side of a gimbal and he can see it right there without having to cons be concerned um, about how the cables are going to affect uh, the movement of the camera fantastic fantastic and I'm super excited and I can't wait to hear more about it but the big big announcement came from Atomos on behalf of Apple which is now that um, uh, Apple is releasing their ProRes RAW and Atomos is now the first to be supporting this new codec for those of you that haven't heard Apple has released a new codec that a raw codec a raw format codec called Apple uh, called ProRes raw there's going to be two versions of it there's going to be ProRes raw which is going to have about the same writing bit rate of uh, Apple ProRes HQ and then you're going to have uh, ProRes raw HQ which is going to be about the same as um, ProRes 444 um, XQ I think it's XQ or QX QX so so about the same data and same writing speed uh, as those codexes but it's going to be in a raw format so it's going to so what's going to happen is cameras that are able to send out their raw data so the C300 Mark II the C500 the FS5 the FS7 the Evo 1 the very cams those cameras that send the signals out through like an SDI, um, they all will be able to write to this new codec and it's going to sort of be standardized instead of having to work with each uh, individual camera company's uh, proprietary um, processor, to be your processor. You can now take it into Final Cut 
and basically work with the raw right there. So that is super exciting. Now, for those of you in the small bars like me with like, so if you have like a GH5, an A7S, or a simply a camera that does not export raw, understand you will not be able to use this raw um, in the Atomos monitor. You will, it's only for those that can send raw video data out uh, through SDIs. So unfortunately, GH5S's and all these other cameras, you're not gonna be able to get this raw codec. Um, or if you're a C200, since the C200 does not send out raw output currently, um, uh, it's, um, none of those cameras will be able to use it. Um, but it's still super excited that now everything's sort of being put into one product. The downside is though, you will have to use Final Cut 10. It, there's, this was, is not currently supported either in Resolve or Premiere Pro. So Final Cut is the only, um, Final Cut owners are gonna be the only ones that are gonna be able to use and properly natively use this codec. So, but still, this is a great step and um, Atomos has now, it's going to support it in its Shogun Inferno and its Sumo 19 uh, display monitor. So those two products are gonna be the ones that are gonna be able to support ProRes RAW and a firmware update coming very, really soon. Um, so this is great, and they also announced that the Evo 1 um, is going to be, the Evo 1's 5.7 RAW is also be supported as well. So super excited, that is an amazing thing, and it's great that every that now, hope, and hopefully as this goes, this is released, and more and more people get, are able to um, put it, at, it within their products, whether it's software, whether it's in the cameras themselves, it becomes a standard across the industry with, and makes just workflow so much easier. But let me know what you think about Apple's announcements and Atomos uh, monitors being able to use the Atomos monitors, the Shogun Inferno and the Sumo 19. Let me know what you think about this announcement of but let me know what you think of this announcement from Apple and Atomos about ProRes RAW. Are you excited about it? Are you excited? Will this be something that may get you interested in working with RAW if you've never worked RAW before? Because RAW is a completely different beast than just working with uh, baked in Rec. 709 footage. But let me know, leave a comment below and make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram at uh, like I said in the previous videos, I'll leave a uh, I'll leave I'll, I'll leave a description to my IG somewhere in the video somewhere. But let me know, and I would love to hear from you guys. Until next time, take care.